TV isn't on 24 hours a day, I'm coming in after you. Just a set of slightly soiled scissors. Look at that bald patch. I'm sure the scissors were never that big. I wish I could be like him. He's so... rock and roll. I'm not tired at the moment, and I'm not willing to get naked for just anyone. Okay, at least I'll have something to sit on when I'm thrown back in the pen. Nice design. Robust. Ergonomic. I think this would be more useful in the next few minutes. Hmm, an ad for jobs at Plush Rest. It's one of the air conditioning ducts that pipe dry, stale air around the building. Fun, huh? My greatest fan. Ah, uh, what is this? Just looks like junk mail to me. Do you crave for a plush posterior perch? Are you unhealthily heavy? Then come and work in our test department. Good shifts, lots of sitting, as much food as you can eat, and hear this. You get paid for it. See Mr. Brinkler right away. Remember the plush rest motto, if your butt's in a rut, buy the best, buy plush rest. Nice cheap furniture, made from recycled fruit rinds. It's an old t-shirt with I am fat on the front and honest, really, on the back. Okay, I have it. It's locked, and I don't have the key. Besides, there's a norm outside. I can't get it to budge without the keys, and I don't think I'll be seeing those for about a week. Whoever made this death trap thought very seriously about home security. Too loud! I'm gonna build a luge for my speakers if I ever see them. Great song though. Na na na, my car's got no wheels but I'm still rolling. I've trashed them. I blame that metalhead Brian Deluge. I'd better not. My attention span for activity is fragile enough without tempting fate by sitting. Let's see what's down here. Aha! There's some... Ah! Oh, that's done it. I've broken it. Well, it was a fine plush rest model, but it's a hunk of junk now. What the heck is this? I think it came from my couch. It's making some really weird sounds. Spooky. I've got it, but I'm not comfortable with the idea, I'll tell you that right now. How come whenever I find money in furniture, it's always change and never a 20? Right, got him. A nodding bird toy, very popular in the 70s. Huh. <laughs> Okay, but if it pecks me, it's history. There's a rat stuck inside. He looks exhausted, but very clean. I could only get the door open by smashing it. Something hard and tasteless should do it. Hey, you in there! You listen to that TV, or you'll get another week in the pen! Aha! It's keeping the TV on! Yes! This might fool that rookie norm out on the landing. Pecking bird plus stubborn remote equals permanently on TV. Yo, dude, we're in there! Whoa! 
It's a little cardboard box. This must come in handy. Ah, this could have been one of my greatest inventions. If only I had a real shark to test it on. I'll soon have this sucker out. That's disgusting. Take a shower, baby. Yes, this is heavy enough to smash the glass. I can't until I get him out. I need something small to put him in first. Stiff, but I can manage it. What a surprise. It's still dark and cloudy. It would make such a difference if for just one day it was brighter. Then maybe everyone would smile, or maybe something weirder would happen. I'll be glad to get out of here. Vertigo Orama. Whoa, this guy watches too much TV. Where does he get the power from? I guess it keeps him warm and out of the rain. A strange old man wearing bright yellow oil skins and a warm smile. Hi there. Could you give me a lift down to the street, old man? Hey, hey, hey. less of the old prefix, please. <laughs> Name's Di. And if I was to take you down, what would you do in return, eh? Well, what do you need, Di? I have lots of stuff inside. How about a nice cushion? It must be hard sitting on that cold metal all the time. Oh, don't, don't you worry about that, boy. <laughs> the only thing that needs warming are my heart and hands. <laughs> How about a nice warm beverage? All right. What flavor do you want? Your coffee, milky, quickly. <laughs> There's a good boy. <laughs> See you a little later, Ty. Sooner rather than later. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Back to mundanity. <laughs> it's almost empty. There's just a drop of scaly water down there in the bottom. I'll just let it boil. I'll just pour in this water. Whoa! Sin City! A cup of black coffee. But I don't want it without cream. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Well, I don't suppose it would hurt that much. The strong abrasive edge of the coffee will probably mask the chalky aftertaste of the paint. At least it looks like milk and it does a body good. Okay, it's mine. <clears throat> it's stiff. Oh. Here you go, Di. Sorry about the delay. Hey, thank you, Sonny. <laughs> Have you down in no time. Say, this coffee tastes a little lead. Unique. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, it has a very special ingredient left to me by the previous occupiers of my apartment. Well, that's a secret you might want to let me in on one of these days. You'll die. Yeah? Say there, do you know what this throbbing, weary thing is? Huh. I don't got a clue, but I, but I feel a bit weird when I'm near to it. Why is every day so gray? The air quality is very, very poor. Well, it's been like this for nearly 30 years, since just before I began my new life in this cradle. God bless the sun. It used to cheer up men, women, cats, dogs, and plants. It all seemed a lot happier back then, before the great shake-up. The great shake-up? I think I remember something about that in modern history classes. But there was something more interesting going on outside just at that moment. Well, it all happened one sunny day about 30 years ago. The day Saul Nistelux was blown into a million tiny pieces. God bless him. His brother, Paul Nistelux, bravely filled his shoes. Then unveiled his approachable army of norm troopers. Things have never been the same since. Paul Nistelux is our leader, right? Sheesh, kid. Things don't change in the city on a daily basis. He's been leading us for years. So then that must mean everyone likes him, right? Well, they seem to. <laughs> no one complains. I just keep myself personal up here. Son, what is that? A thing my mom mentioned it once before she threw me out for cutting class and chilling out all the time. Didn't you pay attention in modern history classes? The sun is a huge slow-motion nuclear explosion in space, shedding warmth on the people of our planet. Oh, really? Well, you say the sun sends warmth, but I don't see it anywhere. You must just be an old dreamer. Dreamer? Ha ha! How dare you! It's up there, boy, but it's beyond this cloud of soot which hangs over the city. But the pall of soot has been up there as long as I can remember. Another one of life's little mysteries, son. So why did you start a new life in this cradle? I'll just say that I wasn't totally impressed with the departure of Saul Nistelux, so I have declared myself a free state. <laughs> well, what weren't you impressed about? Get out into the city and find out for yourself, boy. Open your eyes and dig some dirt. I might bump into you again soon. You seem the right type. Bye, die, you crazy old guy. Well, better to be crazy than lazy, boy. Ha! <laughs> I'd say au revoir, because I got a feeling I'll see you again soon. You have a spark I haven't seen for ages. Disturbance? That's the street below my window. When the norm says, keep out, he means it. I'll stay this side of the barrier. When the norm says, keep out, he means it. I'll stay this side of the barrier. This is Dai's window cleaning cradle. He's gone somewhere. There's some cool gear in this shop. Unfortunately, it closed down last month. I hate Panama. So childish. I think this is the only shop on the entire street that's still doing business. Maybe now is a really good time to look at that map. Nothing new here. 
You call that news? Ha! I've never seen this store open before.